This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very special guest this morning is Will Pickering, who is the CEO of the Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority. Will, nice to have you on the show. Thanks for spending Sunday with me. Great to be with you this morning, John. I wanted to have you on because I heard of this report that the PWSA is receiving a substantial amount of money from a group called PenVest. So before we get started with that, though, tell me quickly, what is the Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority? Sure. The, the Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority is the municipal utility that serves the city of Pittsburgh. We uh, provide sewer services for the entire city, and we provide drinking water for most of the city of Pittsburgh. For most of the city. There are parts of the city that are covered when it comes to drinking water and water for other uses from a different source. That's absolutely right. We also uh, we sell wholesale water to a few out, outside of city uh, municipalities as well. You have this very ambitious plan. You've come on board as the CEO over the last couple of years. Uh, you have an ambitious plan called the Water Reliability Plan. What exactly is that? So the Water Reliability Plan is aimed at renewing the core features of our water distribution system. So we have a water treatment plant, we have reservoirs, we have large diameter water mains, and we're trying to add another extra 100 years of life to that infrastructure. So it, it's a massive investment. It's going to take some time, uh, but it's been a long time coming. It's over $450 million investment, isn't it? I mean, it's it, we're not talking pennies here. That's right. We're making up for some lost time. Uh, anyone who has followed water here locally knows that we've neglected the resource. And so we're, we're making up for that lost time as part of these projects. And that's where this $209 million uh, grant, well, it's not really a grant of money. It's a loan from a group called PenVest. What's that all about? So PenVest serves as a pass-through for an EPA state revolving fund loan program. Like you mentioned, it's not grants, which we always uh, love and prefer, but it's a low interest. So if you think of us as mortgaging this $450 million set of projects, this PenVest loan is providing a 1% mortgage for, for 25 years for us. That results in over $100 million in savings over time. So we're very grateful for that investment as we continue to pursue other ways to fund these projects, all with the goal, John, that we're not uh, loading our ratepayers with increases to be able to finance this massive amount of work that we're catching up on. Will, how would you assess the quality of drinking water in the city of Pittsburgh right now? Well, this morning, I'm proud to say, John, it, it's likely never been better. In particular, uh, with respect to lead, we have the a round of testing that has demonstrated the lowest levels of lead in recent history in, in 20 years, and we haven't been uh, collecting data for all that long. So the treatment that we're using for homes that still have lead lines uh, is effective. In addition, we've replaced over 9,000 lead service lines since 2017 or so. We have we think about another 9,000, 8,000 or so to go. So we're removing that source of lead, which was the primary concern for drinking water quality. We have great water coming from the Allegheny River. I can't emphasize that enough. Let me ask you this question, if I may. Uh, you know, over the years, I would get consistent complaints about customer service at the PWSA, along with all the other utilities, I might add. I'm not hearing as much about that these days. Is your customer service better? Or after this airs, will I hear from a lot of other folks saying, no, it's not? Well, I'm smart enough to say that we're not perfect, John, but we have made huge strides over the last few years professionalizing our staff, giving them the tools they need to be successful. Uh, we're meeting new standards from the Pennsylvania Public Utility Commission since 2018 that we didn't have uh, when those stories aired years ago. So I, I put us up there against all of the other utilities. It's very rare anyone calls us and says, you're doing a great job, uh, but we're not getting those complaints. And, and I take that as a testament to the work our team has done over the last few years. Well, Will Pickering, the CEO of the Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority, thank you so much for sharing information with us today. We really appreciate it. Good to be with you. Great to be with you. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.